Today we're in one of my favorite places, Connor Prairie in Fishers, Indiana. We're here to chat with Stephanie Buchanan and learn about her furry friends in the Animal Encounters Barn. So first of all, uh, how did Animal Encounters get started? Um, so my predecessor, Kevin Miller, um, when he started working here at Connor Prairie, uh, he wanted to create an experience for guests that allowed them to get up close and personal um, with animals, with livestock, um, help them learn a little bit more about where their food comes from, where their fiber comes from, um, a little bit more about animal science and how amazing these animals are, especially our heritage breeds. Um, but he wanted to do it you know, in a way that was interactive, engaging, and educational. Um, and so from there, this Animal Encounters experience as we know it today was born. Um, over the years, it's changed a little bit, um, but that core uh, mission is still the same of, of getting people up close and personal with agriculture. So the term heritage breed, what, what constitutes a heritage breed and, and how many you know, heritage breed animals do you guys have here on sure. site? Um, so a heritage breed is, in a nutshell, an, a type of animal, typically a livestock species. So in our case, uh, goats, sheep, cattle, uh, chickens, hogs, that sort of thing, um, that were common historically uh, you know, during the founding of, of the country and that sort of thing. Um, so common historically, but have since died out. So they're not, they've lost popularity um, um, as commercial breeds have developed. Um, these breeds are genetically unique. Um, they have a lot of really, really important traits, really valuable traits that we need to keep alive, but they can't compete in terms of production uh, right. with modern livestock breeds. So they've died out over the years. Uh, and so our mission is to not only help increase the numbers, um, but also find a job for them, find a purpose for them, um, help raise awareness about them, and help get them into the hands of other people that want to help um, preserve those, those breeds. So other people can, you know, own and raise this yeah. livestock do you help them are Absolutely. you kind of uh you know kind of an advisor yeah in a lot of ways we are so we um you know we'll have close to 100 babies born each year obviously we don't have space to keep everything okay. so a lot of those do uh, go to other farms where they're gonna help um you know continue continue the breed so what other heritage breed animals do you have sure. um, so we like i mentioned earlier we raised the tunis sheep um, that's an old dual purpose breed that uh, we know thomas jefferson raised so oh, okay. um, and it's one of the first uh first livestock breeds kind of developed in this country. Um, there was stock uh, imported from or sent as a gift um, from the Tunisia you know, area okay. um, and that was crossed with the stock with the sheep that the settlers had brought and then they created this breed which is known as the Tunis uh, today. So that's a that's a historic breed. Um, we have Osaba Island hogs brought in by the Spanish in the 1500s. Oh, okay. um, we have English Longhorn cattle, um, which date back most likely to even like Mayflower times. So there's descriptions meeting those uh, descriptions of cattle that sound like the Longhorns right. being brought over around that time. Um, and then we have American rabbits. Um, they're a little bit newer breed. Um, those breeds weren't really rabbit breeds weren't really recognized until the early 20th century. Um, but the American rabbits are one of the one of the more rare uh, rabbit breeds as well. So if somebody's watching this show out of state, out, outside of Indiana, you know, is there an outreach program that you have available? Sure. So um, one thing that they could, well, first of all, come visit. Go on a vacation. You know, next time you're through this area, come yeah. visit us. Um, but we do offer um, on our website, there's a lot of information about heritage breeds and our ag program on there. Um, we've also done a series of YouTube videos highlighting each of our, our okay. breeds and the things that we do there. So in terms of just general information, I invite you to check that out. Um, the Livestock Conservancy also has an awesome website that talks about all of the heritage breeds, okay. not just the ones that we raise. Um, uh, yeah, so you're able to, to do all that. And then you can always get in touch with us too. If you have specific questions or are interested in learning more or maybe want to get involved, you know, we've, we've worked with people in probably 25 different states uh, to oh, buy and sell breeding okay. stock. Um, so we're, we're definitely not limited to Indiana. So get in touch with us, um, contact Connor Prairie and uh, they'll put you in touch with us if you're interested in, in learning more. So. Okay, well, thanks. This has been fascinating. Thank so you. thank you for having us out. You're welcome. Thank you. One thing for sure is that these little critters eat a lot. Help Connor Prairie and the Animal Encounters Barn remain a one-of-a-kind animal experience by donating today. Find out more at connorprairie.org. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Barney Wood.